hi guys you're you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is stella okay so um if you're just seeing this video for the first time you're welcome i will solicit that you subscribe and then click on the notification bell so that when i upload subsequent videos you'll be among the first to know okay so let's jump right into it i'd like us to um draft a bumper jacket and um go ahead to sew it but that may be on um, in another video so let's go right into it my starting point so usually i mark um from the very edge i i just um i mark half an inch i'm marking half an inch just so i can get a straight line up here then I roll it across okay so after um, just um, getting our starting point just a straight line basically I'll go ahead and use my marker to darken it so that we can all see yes this is clear enough so I'll mark my my shoulder shoulder is 16 so half of it is 8 inches plus half inch for joining so that's eight and a half you take your shoulder 16 um divided by two that's eight plus half inch for joining so that's eight and a half i'll make a dot there then i'll come back to my neckline how to get your neckline is your boss round divided by 12. now my boss round divided by 12 um I like to use 3.2 or 3.5 I like to use 3.5 for my neckline width then for the depth I will use 3.75 I don't want it so low okay so I prefer to make my markings first with a pencil do all my corrections then come back with the permanent marker just so we don't mess things up okay so let's connect let's connect this okay now <clears throat> for my shoulder slope i'll slope my shoulder with one inch Then, from the place I marked one inch, I'll take it right to my neck width with my pencil. Then come back with my permanent marker and just highlight it so we see. Okay. Let me also highlight the neckline. Okay, then um, to get your armhole depth, you're going to do your boss round divided by 6 plus 1.5. I will use my 8. I'll just make a mark there. Remember, my shoulder is 16, and 16 over 2 is 8 plus the half inch for joining. That's 8.5. So I'll come here and measure 8.5. I make a dot there. And um, I'll collect. Remember what we say? Just a quick recap. Um, my shoulder is sixteen over two. That's eight. That's eight. Then the half inch is for the joining of the of the sleeve and the shoulder. Now um, I took my neck. I took my neck um, um, width um, to be 3.5 and the depth to be 3.75 and then I sloped it by one inch okay so I just connected to my neckline width and then to get your armhole depth I did my um, your, your boss round divided by 6 plus 1.5 here then came down here also and I did I repeated the same thing basically 
my shoulder over two um plus the half inch i took it here just made a mark there and then and then rule the straight line okay so just so that we, we are sure of getting a straight line from this very um starting point to this point here to this point here this is nine inch this is me just trying to be sure that i have a straight line so i'll come somewhere here and just make a dot um, for my nine inch um come somewhere here make a dot for my nine inch and i will move Okay, then um, my the um, the length of the bomber jacket is I would like to make use of twenty four point five. That's the length I want, so I like to make use of um, twenty four point five. I don't want it extremely long. I just want it smart. Okay, so my length is twenty four point five. And I'm adding my half inch for the joining of the rib, so that makes it 25. And I'll come somewhere here as well and, and mark that 25. Then I'll come somewhere here and mark that 25, just so I'm getting a straight line. Somewhere here, mark my 25, then connect with my ruler. okay great now um note that for bomber jacket the, the two um the two vertical lines you need they are just your chest line which is where you're going to be imputing your boss round your chest line and your full length okay chest line and full length now um, on the chest line we're going to do for my bomber jacket okay for my bomber jacket, I do a bust round plus five. Now, this the, the five inches is um, is like a constant. It applies to everybody, irrespective of your size. That's just the ease. So I do my bust round plus five inches. So my bust round is thirty nine, and thirty nine plus five inches that's forty four. Now I will do forty four divided by four. Forty four divided by four that's eleven. Now. I'll mark 11, then I'll add 1.5 inches, so in allowance, so that's 12.5. Boss round plus 5, and the plus 5 applies to everyone. Now my boss round is 39, 39 plus 5, that's 44, and 44 divided by 4 is 11, I marked it, then I added 1.5 inches, so in allowance. Okay, um, now we come down to the full length. And I'll repeat the same thing. Um, boss round divided, boss round plus five. And in this case, my boss round is 39. 39 plus five is 44. 44 divided by four is 11. And I add 1.5 inches sewing allowance. So I'm just going to connect these lines. Here we go, and um, let's get to the armhole. On the armhole, this is a bomber jacket. So my armhole is um, my armhole from here to here. That's eight inches. So I'll take half of it, and half of it is four. I just make a dot there. Then by that point, I'll go in by half inch. Now I'll connect. Here to here with the straight line. Then I'll connect like this. Okay. For the back armhole, you don't have to go in. What I usually do is I'll just take from the midpoint I marked, from the midpoint I marked, 
I just take it outward. Just take it outward. Okay, so front armhole and this is the back armhole. Okay, so for the back neckline, for the back neckline, we'll do, we'll take it down by, by a half inch. Back neckline, we'll take it down by a half inch and we'll just connect. Okay, so that's my back, that's my back neckline there, and this is my front. Okay, so that's my back neckline, and this is my front. The back neckline that I took it down by 0 0.5, and for the front, remember, we went down by 0, by 3.75. Okay, so let's add our half inch for the joining of the shoulder. If you don't add this, trust me. You're going to affect the entire process because it simply means you're taking part of the of the bodies just to join the shoulder okay so we mark half inch up half inch for joining of the shoulder and we will connect Just extend this a little bit up. Okay. This is it. This is it for the bomber jacket. For the front, um, I decided to cut the two patterns together. Just the only difference is for the front, we are going to add one inch for the zip allowance. One inch or 0 0.5, but I don't know. I'm already used to adding one inch as my zip allowance. So we'll just add one inch. As our zip allowance here that's the only difference for the front because the back is going to be caught on fold okay so that's it um if you like to see uh, me cut it on a fabric and the and the sewing just stick to the channel all right bye okay all right guys you're welcome back um let's draft the sleeve for the bomber jacket okay so um, we'll first have a starting line, which we can call the sleeve head. And um, to get your cap height, you will do your boss round divided by 12 plus 1. So that's to get your cap height. Boss round divided by 12 plus 1. And my boss round is 39. 39 divided by 12 plus 1 is 4.25. So we'll come here. Make a dot 4.25, 4.25, then connect the straight line. Okay, now, so I like to label this is my sleeve head. This is my my cap height. Okay, so for for the full length for the sleeve length, I will use um twenty four. So my sleeve length is twenty four. I mark my twenty four. straight line okay so this is our um, we have three lines now the sleeve head which is the starting point um, the cap height which we go by dividing our boss round by 12 
then you add one inch this applies to everyone then we have our our um, sleeve length um, the sleeve length here we're making use of 24 okay so on the cap height to get your armhole curve you're going to do your bust round your bust round divided by six remember we did bust round divided by six plus 1.5 to get our armhole line now to get our armhole curve we're going to do our bust round divided by six plus 1.5 and bust round 39 over six plus 1.5 will give you eight so you're just going to come on that cap height line and make a dot on your eight um sometimes i draft this without allowance but in this case i just want to impute all my allowances so that when i want to place on the fabric i know i'm cutting everything um straight i don't have to um, add my allowance on the fabric but you can also draft yours just without the allowance and um, add all your allowances when you want to place them on the fabric so but in this case we're doing um to get our armhole curve we're doing our bust round divided by six plus 1.5 and we're working with bust round 39 39 um over 6 plus 1.5 is 8 and i just made a mark on the 8 and uh, my allowance is 1.5 1.5 inches allowance okay so on the round sleeve the round sleeve my my round sleeve um i don't want to tie my round sleeve is 8.5 and 8.5 over 2 that's 4.25 so i will make a mark on my 4.25 here and i'll add my allowance two inches allowance so we're just going to connect we're just going to connect the lines here so here okay now we've connected now back to this point Back to this point, we're doing um, remember my bus round over six plus one point five is eight. So I make a mark on the eight, and half of the eight is four, and um from the beginning, I just marked two inches. Now, let me take it again. I did my bust round over six plus 1.5 is eight. I, I made a mark here. Then I divided it by two. Eight over two is four. I made a mark there. And um, I also divided the four again by two to give me two here. Now, on this, on this four inches mark that we did, you will just come down by one inch. So you come down by one inch. So we're connecting from here. We're connecting from here, from this two inches mark to hit this, this one inch we, we came down here and then to this point. These are the three points we're connecting. This is how I do my bomber jacket sleeve, okay? Okay, mind you that there are other ways to draft your sleeve, but, but for this bomber jacket, this is how I do mine, okay? Now, let's connect. You can do this with your free hand if you're comfortable doing that. You know what, let's, let's do it with our free hand. For, for our sisters that like working with free hand, shout out to you guys. All right, so um, we're connecting. See why I like to to draft with the pencil, so that you can make all your all your corrections before you use a permanent marker to to finish that up. Okay, so this is what I just did. I used my free hand to connect from this two inches line.
to hit this one inch I came down with here. And then I went down to hit this point. Okay, so this is this is basically it. I will just use my my marker to finish that up just so we can see clearly. Alright, so this is it. Um, this is it for the sleeve, okay? So, um, when I'm cutting out, I'll just place this on the fabric and cut. And mind you, I'm not adding any allowance. This is a bomber jacket and this is the, the full um, sleeve length. So, I am just going to make use of half inch from here, from this 24. And I'll make use of half inch from this full length 24. And then half it from the sleeve head just so I can join them. Alright, so that is it for the sleeve. Kindly like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. See you guys.